Lamanya pembicaraan video antara Presiden AS Joe Biden dengan Presiden Tiongkok Xi Jinping membahas krisis Ukraina baru-baru ini mencerminkan perhatian kedua pihak terhadap konflik antara Rusia dengan Ukraina dan juga posisi sulit Tiongkok. Definitely China would uh, would love to see this uh, war go away or at least uh, uh, the conflict the conflict die down and and uh, so the fact that uh, you know President Biden and President Xi talked for about two hours uh, suggests that th- th- this was a pretty Presiden Biden menegaskan kebulatan negara-negara Barat memberi sanksi kepada Rusia yang bisa berimbas pada Tiongkok bila negara tersebut mendukung pemohonan Rusia atas kota-kota di Ukraina. Well, what we have observed so far, it seems to be China's position has shifted from initial indifference, leaning towards more showing sympathy towards Ukraine, without openly denouncing Moscow. So China is really hoping out of this crisis they'll be able to maintain that fine balance. But however, the fine balance will be very difficult for Beijing to maintain anyway at the end of the day. That Beijing, because broke down by the international pressure, that Beijing will have to show some stance and to show its capability as being a responsible power in this case. Tiongkok adalah pasar ekspor terbesar kedua bagi Rusia setelah Uni Eropa dan total perdagangan antara kedua negara menurut catatan pemerintahan Tiongkok selama 2021 mencapai hampir 147 miliar dolar. Ini merupakan peningkatan signifikan dibandingkan tahun sebelumnya. Sistem perbankan Tiongkok juga sempat dilirik sebagai alternatif setelah dijatuhkannya sanksi keuangan dari Barat. The problem that they face though is that if they get too tangled up in that, they may find some of their own institutions subject to the sanctions. Sejauh mana Tiongkok akan membantu Vladimir Putin masih menjadi tanda tanya. Russia and Putin need a lot of money, not a small amount of money, but a lot of money. And the amount of money they need, I don't think China is going to want to give unless they get something really big in return. And I don't think that Putin wants to mortgage his whole country to China um, uh, for this. This partnership uh, between Moscow and Beijing is is not completely one-sided, but but quite lopsided in that, uh, as you suggest, uh, China has holds more cards. It's it's more powerful, especially economically, and uh, so Russia needs China more than China needs Russia. Pada saat yang sama, Tiongkok tidak ingin memperburuk hubungannya dengan Rusia sebagai salah satu mitra strategisnya. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.